my friends, this is reason you are welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we are going to be considering PDF to AutoCAD file conversion. And as well, we are going to be setting the AutoCAD file in order to maintain the same dimension that is on the PDF file. After which, we will do all the necessary work on the file so as to export it to total structure for structural modeling. And so let's get started. I will navigate to the insert tab. I click right there. In the drop down menu, I will proceed to any of these. Uh, you can see PDF underlay. Or I can decide to go to this provisions and then come to PDF import. Click right there in the drop down menu and select PDF import. This will take me to my directory where I can't be able to navigate to where I save the PDF file. So this is the PDF file. So I will select it and click on open. And in this dialog, what you just have to do just to leave all of this at default. Click on OK. So friends, here is the file imported successfully into AutoCAD. If I zoom closely, you can see the dimension. All right. So we are going to be setting this AutoCAD drawing. But in order to maintain this dimension, that is on this plan. All right. And so for us to do that, what we just need to do is we will need to activate a uh, calculator. OK, so you go to home and then be able to select calculator right away. So for instance, if I should zoom very closely and then I pick a measurement tool, all right, pick this measurement tool, you can see the distance from this point to this uh, other end is uh, 1500 millimeter. All right. So uh, if I should pick that point and then come back to this point, you can see it's giving me 0 0.3625, all right? So the conversion goes like this. This 0 0.3625, you will use it to divide uh, 1,500. Whatsoever it gives you is the scale factor to scale this drawing, but to fit into the existing scale of the PDF file, all right? So what we need to do, we have to take note of the, uh, the given uh, uh, dimension just as I've measured 0 0.3625 all right so I will come back to the calculator and I will have, uh, just have to escape that and then I'll have 1500 right away and then click on the divide symbols and 0 0.3625 just like this and then I'll equals it so once you equals it this is what's giving you this is um, 4100 137.93 one all right so this is the scale factor all right so what we now need to do now is we have to alight all of this pdf file okay we get all of the uh file alighted all right and then um you type scale on the keyboard or xc just like that it on the enter button all right so it is asking us to specify um to, to specify the start point so we are going to start from the origin okay so for us to do that, you just have to enter zero, comma, on the keyboard, zero, and then you enter. So once you enter, it will look at the origin, you can see. All right. So with this uh, provision now, you can now input in the scale factor, which is the 4137, all right, point nine three one. Okay. To up to three decimal places, all right. So after which, just hit on the enter key, all right. Give you progress of seconds, all right. You can see everything has been changed successfully. So you just have to zo zo zoom it in, okay, to have everything just like this, okay. So let's do the me measurement again. So if I click on the dimension right away, 
and then I'll try to check the distance from this point to this point. You can see it is now giving me 1500 in AutoCAD, which is the same scale, the same distance we add in the PDF. All right, so having said this successfully, I will have to escape that. So the scale has been converted successfully. So what we just need to do is we will, we will have to delete all the unwanted lines in order for us to prepare our structural uh, our structural uh, paneling and then to get the plan ready to be exported to to that structure okay so i'll highlight all of this since i don't want all of that so e on the keyboard to erase that successfully okay so i will continue to erase all the unwanted line okay just like this so after i must have done with erasing all the line i think they are not useful to me just like this i'll be having the structure i'll be having the plan in this format okay so if i should go to this tab to activate this tab all right what i did here is i come to um, the layer right away so i click on the layer and then I make provisions for a layer called grid line, okay, and then a layer called columns because these are the two things I'm considering in order for me to be able to uh, set my columns successfully as well as my grid lines, all right. So after I must have set the layers, I only go straight away. If I should go to drawing one, just for, I only I like this, and then I come to this provision and change layers in this other drawing cell uh, board, all right, just change the layer successfully before then you must have be able to delete all the unwanted line all of these uh, grid lines uh, bobs you have to erase all just like that okay so after I must have done with erasing all of the grid lines uh, unwanted lines you just have to proceed because if you check these uh, layers you can see it's PDF geometry the layers PDF geometry so you just only have to come and create layers for the grid lines and as well for the, your columns which is what I did in the next tab in this tab right away okay so I have my columns right away 25 by 25 columns and then I only change uh, these lines to grid lines all right and then you have to just establish your columns uh, positions okay you can see these are my colors positions successfully after i must have established my colors positions because total structure read two things here total structure reads the columns and as well as the grid lines so after i must have been able to change the columns and the grid lines layer successfully i actually move the structure to the origin so you can see this is the origin of the uh, universal coordinate system I wanted it here so as to have it in the same location and total structure interface okay so after which what I just need is to highlight all of this after getting all the plan highlighted you just have to type W on the keyboard enter in these provisions you click on these two dotted provisions and then you navigate to here you'll be able to save the file I will come to this provision so you drop that menu I'll select library and then I'll be able to locate the video okay and then training file so in this training file I want to save this file as DSF file so as to be able to read it in total structure so I'll just save it as the file okay just like this and then I'll click on save and okay take note of the unit it must be in millimeter or any unit you used whether well, meter centimeter you make sure you maintain it in total structure click on ok and then it is said the file is already exist close that okay go back again so we are having this file existing already okay what we just need to do for us to save it in another name can just add one right away click on save and okay so you can see the file has been saved successfully after which we will proceed to launch total structure in order for us to export this file to total structure for structural modeling analysis and design so are we transfer to total structure
So yeah, April Dash Market 2021 goes to the way to the DSF Import right away. In the DSF Import dialog, select Load DSF. It will take us to the directory where we have to select the file. So I will navigate to the provisions and the training file. And then this is the file. Click on that. Click on Open. After which, click on Import. Right, then click on closed. So you can see this is the file. So from here, we can now start modeling, right, on the beam, and as well as the slabs and generate stories. So this is how you can export or convert your files from PDF to DWG, arrange the file, and then export it to Rutas Structure for structural modeling analysis and design. We'll stop here to be continued in the next lesson. Stay tuned and bye for now.